how do you use ChatGPT to write a cover letter? When HR departments are going through, they're looking for keywords. A lot of the time it's algorithmically determined whether or not you can even be considered. So you're loading up your resume with this relevant experience and you're loading your cover letter with this relevant experience. Hi, I'm Emily Binder. I'm back with my good friend, Allison Pons. Allison is the founder and chief strategist at Mother Robot, which is an innovation and digital strategy consultancy. Welcome, Allison. Thanks. Nice to be here. So Allison has done some research on ChatGPT and I wanted to have her on the show to go through something really specific and helpful. If you are looking for a job and you're writing a cover letter along with your resume, this is how you can use ChatGPT to generate that cover letter. Super easy, way easier than writing 300 cover letters by yourself. So the first thing you wanna do is open ChatGPT and give it the following prompt. You are a professional copywriter. Write a 250 to 300 word cover letter to apply for the position of, then you're gonna say the position, at, then you're gonna say the company. Include the following details. Now, what you'll do is you'll look at the job and include a bulleted list of relevant experience to the job. Address the letter to, if you know the hiring manager's name, put the hiring manager's name. If it's gonna be generic HR person, you can write that. Do not explain yourself. We looked up on LinkedIn as an example, prompt engineer, mm -hmm. and we found a job at Booz Allen. This is the job description. Okay, perfect. So if we're in chat GPT. Right. Prompt engineer. Take it out of brackets. At. Booz Allen Hamilton. Include the following details. Now pop back over to your job. Okay, say you have, all right, let's just go to Empower Change with us. You have three plus years experience implementing machine learning models. Copy that. Do the whole thing if you want. All right. To. If you've got all that experience, right? If it's Let's legit. See. Now you're going to update this relevant to you. So three plus years experience. Say you have you five years experience. Just change it to five. Five years experience. That's bullet one. Say you've got one year of experience. I wouldn't put a year in. Just say experience dealing with designing. And then if you can personalize that at all um, with your own experience, write about this a little bit about the statistical model that you've worked with for example just make this all yours so maybe take the plus out since it's all very generic and something else to remember with this is i like to keep everything copied to my clipboard as i go so i'm just going to hit Control a to select all then Control c to copy it i highly recommend an app called copy clip this little clipboard, literally everything I've copied and had on my clipboard for the last couple of days is there and you can just click and grab. So you never lose any copy text. Definitely get copy clip. It's free. It'll save you so much pain. So I've got this copied in case we don't get what we want out of this. Perfect. And then I'm going to paste the job description, right? Which part here? Let me see if that's necessary with, I think this job is pretty complex. Let's see if we can do it without it. And if it's, it doesn't give us what we want, we'll try it again with. I'm going to copy this in case I want it for that. All right. So let's just hit go. And we are using no, GPT-4, by the way. Hell yeah. I love it. This is good. So you've got one, two, three, four, five paragraphs. You can edit them as needed, but it's a really good starting place. Right. And it mentions a lot of the specifics from the job description. And when HR departments are going through, they're looking for keywords. A lot of the time it's algorithmically determined whether or not you can even be considered. So you're loading up your resume with these, this relevant experience and you're uploading your co cover letter with this relevant experience. This is a really nice output. I, you know, step three is to review the letter, make sure it sounds A, true, B, like it would come from you. 
it saves your brain power. And if you have yeah. to do this for, if you apply for 300 jobs and if you're looking for an executive position, honestly, sometimes that is how many resumes you end up sending out, you can just generate these. We will paste that prompt in the description below so that you can fill it in. And remember when you fill in the brackets, take the brackets out and just write your own personal information, like the experience, the company name. If the tone of voice isn't what you want, you can always then just say, okay, thanks. Now make this friendlier or make this more formal and you can have it just edit. So whatever it shoots out, like you could just specify what you want different about the next version of it. And we did this in GPT-4, but it will be fine in GPT-3.5 if you aren't paying for it. Give it yeah, a shot there. Totally. I mean, the output's not that much different with, with things that are just totally text-based and not news related or not whatever. So if you guys like this, thumb it up, subscribe. Uh, let us know in the comments if you have any other questions. We're going to make some more videos about just simple, easy ways to use ChatGPT for all kinds of marketing and job search and performance reviews, operational departmental procedures. There's so much you can just churn out. So nice. Thanks, Allison. So everybody, make sure you follow Allison. She's at Allison Pons on Twitter, Allison with two L's. And we'll put the links to her website and everything in the show notes too. Yay. Thanks, Em. Yeah. All right. And um, you might, you're looking downward, just FYI. Where's your camera lens? Should yeah, there you go. The That's where you want to look, not okay. down. Okay, way hotter like that. If you want to really? see. Really? Okay. okay.